Hello everyone. Welcome to another captivating episode of Keeping It Real by housing.com. According to the latest report of proptiger.com, the country's leading digital real estate brokerage firm, housing sales and launches continue to show robust bullishness across most regions during the first quarter of this calendar year. The Delhi National Capital Region (NCR) remains one of the strongest engines of India's real estate growth story. The region has consistently remained a preferred hotspot as can be seen through the sales and new launches. The region with the capital city as also the booming satellites of Gurgaon and Noida has sharply outpaced all other regions by significant distance. Joining us for this episode is Ms Ankita Sood, head of research at housing.com and proptiger.com. She is an authority on the subject. Let's break down the numbers, trends and data about this buzzing region with her. Listen in. Hello and a warm welcome Ankita. Delighted to have you on the show. Thank you for having me Goro. It's always a pleasure. Ankita, there's something buzzy, busy and vibrant about the Delhi NCR region and I'm sure you'll agree with this. Quarter after quarter, year after year, the region has remained a favored destination for both home buyers and developers. Just to give an illustration, Residential property sales in the region grew 164% during January and March this year compared to the same quarter last year. What is driving this surge in demand Ankita? Is it is it a reflection of the strong economic activity in the region that is drawing people to buy and invest in houses here Ankita? So Gaurav, uh, you know Delhi NCR is a very peculiar uh, market and it's very unlike it's an agglomerate of uh, five cities which have their own character uh, you know beat faridabad uh, gurugram noida noida is or historically was considered the it back office faridabad was more industrial uh, gurugram has always been the home for uh, you know fortune 500 companies and ghaziabad uh, etc so it, it it's, a, it's a very different mix and all have a unique uh, character now uh, you know we know delhi ncr is the economic center in the northern area if i talk about south south you know you know you have key cities you have uh, bengaluru you have hyderabad you have chennai but when you look at north the only key city in north is uh, you know the agglomeration of uh, delhi ncr and that is why the property markets here have always been uh, of course you know end users are there but has always been very uh, investor centric uh, as well uh, you know just just coming to your point the surge that we are seeing right now uh has been definitely due uh, to the pandemic post pandemic pent up demand is what we see uh, in the market and uh, you know if you step back and see the history uh, of what uh, you know delhi ncr uh, the market has been it was uh, plagued by litigations there were supply side defaults major infrastructure projects such as dwarka expressway etc uh you know were significantly de- uh, derailed and delayed so all of that plagued the market so in the hey days where delhi ncr used to uh, you know uh, you know do a lack then it dwindled the supply also dwindled to less than a thousand uh, and even the sales side of it you know we were not seeing much traction uh it's around 2013 when we say that the cookie crumbled in delhi ncr and you know there was a significant price correction uh that happened now with all of those things into being the current price surge was uh, you know it was imminent it had to happen the pent up demand uh is and has always been there uh you know prior to the pandemic as well the launches weren't happening a uh, 2016 post rera kicked in uh you know it led to the straight jacketing of the supply side and developers were just restructuring their uh, overall business scenario to uh, you know comply so launches were very limited and because of that the demand uh, you know was constantly building up 
it is only post the pandemic that uh, you know the market saw an influx of uh, you know supply and of course got lapped up in days we see very notable developers uh, you know very key developers of delhi ncr that supply uh, you know the supply was picked up within uh, days so all of that surge has actually also brought the investors back into the market so the pr- property price surge uh, is not completely end user driven uh, investors are definitely back in the market seeing the kind of uh, you know the property increase uh, that we are seeing here now like i said it's an agglomeration so uh, you know it, it's a mix all the different geographies have different price points gurgaon is considered more premium and hence the sales and the launches here have been in that particular category noida of course has caught up to gurgaon now you can't say noida is the lesser cousin of uh, you know gurgaon and ghaziabad faridabad still are relatively affordable and they cater to, cater to a different segment so uh, there's something for everyone uh, you know in the market and uh, definitely you know the market is currently the hottest market in the country uh, also due to the investors being uh, back in the market absolutely ankita but there's also an aspect about the price points and that is something that we should not ignore and here's an interesting piece of data i thought that i'll bring it up Nearly 6 out of 10 or 59% units sold during January March this year in the Delhi NCR region were above rupees 1 crore bracket. Does this mirror higher land prices or do you think people in NCR generally have greater affordability Ankita? Yeah so I you know I did touch upon this uh, in the previous question as well that uh, you know the agglomeration has different cities combined together now all of these cities have their different unique uh, price uh, bands as well now if you plot a price contour uh, on the delhi ncr region of course uh, gurgaon and noida you know they are white collared cities gurgaon being the seat of uh, all the major fortune 500 companies uh, due to its proximity to the airport now that gets a lot of uh, job market a lot of job creation is happening so uh, of course infrastructure through the years has uh, increased but i would not attribute uh, the property price growth to infrastructure at least in case of gurgaon uh, very much evident that this particular price bracket like you said 1 crore and above has gone up post pandemic the needs and wants of people have also increased we you know conducted a survey uh, the consumer sentiment survey and we asked that so most of the people said that they are looking for something larger than their uh, con- you know the present uh, configuration and there was a significant a very prominent shift in the lifestyle that the people are looking at so everything comes at a cost definitely the land prices have also gone up and uh, you know everything niched together developers were not initially wanting to pass on the increase in uh, the input cost to the home buyer because the market was so sluggish but now with the the demand peaking definitely uh you know it, it's a sellers market right now i would say so all that has also been translated or is translating into the increase uh, in cost uh, that we see and in this particular price bracket absolutely yes this is a trend we are seeing across the cities as well people are demanding more and more comes at a cost so uh, very much uh, you know the amenities the facilities a total lifestyle shift one factor is that and the second factor that uh, the input cost has also gone up so yes now the developers are not shying away from passing that on to the uh, home buyer that's true ankita and you know within the region itself there could be some distinctive trends that are probably merging which micro markets are currently trending in the ncr market ankita so ncr uh, you know if i if i zoom in into uh, the various uh, you know the agglomerations like i said they all have their distinct uh, character 
but let's talk uh, about uh, uh, gurugram uh, you know there's a surge in both demand and supply uh, along the dwarka expressway dwarka expressway is a significantly delayed uh, project it's just uh, you know some bit of patches have been uh, opened up and uh, you know the the projects have been there in the market uh, you know over 10 years now so we would see that all the price appreciation was already factored in and they never moved so it's only now that the market has seen some traction and because of the completion uh, people are ready to shift uh, there so we see significant uh, demand coming along that side because if you uh, you know if you if you see the demand trends and if you see the central part of gurgaon that's the extension golf course uh, area uh, and you're joining the core gurgaon area uh, there isn't much supply uh coming in and also uh it's uh, you know on a higher uh, price point now you know close to the average has gone up to around uh, 14 15000 per square feet so uh more demand has shifted to the uh, peripheral uh, areas uh, you know the dwarka expressway side new gurgaon was always there uh because it was to close proximity with gurgaon and the infrastructure bit and the expressway patch of that side uh, was relatively complete though that did not help you know with the coming of the cpr also that is a well connected area to uh, gurgaon so dwarka expressway the whole stretch we are seeing a lot of uh, traction uh new gurgaon side like i already uh, said apart from this a uh, golf course extension has been in demand since the last um, few quarters and there is more demand and less supply so that's why all the project launches that have happened in this area have completely uh, gotten lapped up so i would say you know now uh, dwarka expressway and uh, golf course extension you know in gurgaon these are uh, the key markets in case of noida maximum activity we are seeing is uh, concentrated in uh, the areas along the noida expressway that has uh, you know a price point of close to 10 to 12000 per square feet and also the peripheral uh, adjoining areas uh, of uh, greater noida so this is uh, you know this is where the market is currently moving uh, faridabad ghaziabad Uh, these uh, micro localities of course they have their internal uh, price appreciation has definitely happened but not uh, as you know at speedier as that what we are seeing in the markets of gurgaon and uh, noida thank you so much ankita for sharing your deep insights and perspective and taking the time out to have this conversation with us it's always a delight to have you on the show thank you for having me gorov That's it from us for this episode. We shall be back again with a fresh episode of Keeping It Real by Housing.com with information and insights on the real estate industry. Whether you are a pro or a beginner, we are here to keep you informed and entertained in the world of Indian real estate. This is Keeping It Real by Housing.com where we keep it real always. You can catch the episode on Housing.com on the Housing.com app, the YouTube channel of Housing.com on Yeshaudar and Spotify.com, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Ghana.com, and Geo Seven. Take care and stay safe.